Your ears have three main parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is the first part of the ear. It is what you can see on the sides of your head. It is basically a funnel for sounds. The bigger the funnel, the more sounds you can catch. That's why when you place a hand behind your ear, you are better able to hear someone who is speaking across the room. Try this. Create a number of different funnels for your ear. Try different materials and different shapes for your funnels. Create one funnel out of poster board and another out of a plastic plate. Cut the bottom off a plastic cup. Be creative in your funnel creation. Once you've created your funnels, turn on a stereo or radio and turn the volume to low. Stand across the room from the speaker and place each of your funnels to your ear. Which funnel works best? How does the material and size affect how the funnel works? You can perform this experiment at home. Click the Activity Sheet button. When the Activity Sheet appears, click Print and close the window. When you're ready to continue the lesson, click Continue. When the funnel of the outer ear catches sound waves, the waves move down the ear canal toward the middle ear, which is the second part of the ear. The sound waves will cause the eardrum to vibrate. The movement of the eardrum causes three small bones in the middle ear to move. These bones are called the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. These are the three smallest bones in your entire body. When the bones in the middle ear vibrate, the energy is passed into the inner ear, which is the third part of the ear. The inner ear is a long canal or tube that is filled with fluid or liquid. The canal has hairs growing from its sides into the fluid. The hairs that are growing from the sides will sway back and forth in the fluid as vibrations go through it. These hairs are connected to nerves that send messages to the brain about how much the hairs are moving. The brain processes these messages as sounds. Now, let's review what we discussed in this section of the lesson.